Where you seen this at? This was the guy. There's a guy that he came, one of the bloods. He came out of jail. and his, I think he just came home and said his name is Tankhead. And he was known in the in the prison system, whatever, right? And he was yeah. talking about the work that they put in, you know, and the bloods and the King War. And then, but he still all the time when I hear him talk, one thing I respect about him is that he'd be like, yo, I, I, Spanish people are my friends, bro. It was a war going on. That's what it is. Like, he just don't leave it like that. Like some of these dudes, were derlicky with it and they let act like the kings was just there like crash dummies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah fact. I know what you mean. But of course, everybody's gonna big up their story and the work they put in. Nobody's gonna talk about when they got work put on them. I mean, I have. But not a lot of people do that. But whatever his story is, I just liked it that about him with no writing. That he kept it like, yo, bro, it's not even like that. I got friends that are, I got Spanish dudes that are my friends. I was yeah, I'm that around. was a time. That was just a time of ever that, that that that's what was happening for the moment. You know what I'm saying? But that moment passed. And now yeah. times have changed. So, you know, you know, you got them certain people he probably would never be cool with again to this day. That's kings, but he got the ones that had that have nothing to do with the wars. The don't even that wasn't there. You got new king, older kings that that respect. You got some gangsters that went back and forth. They people hit each other, but now that it's all settled, they look at each other like they salute. Like I heard about you. I know what you did to mine. I know what you did to mine. But you know we still here, and they salute that because they know that that when that time came, they did what they were supposed to for theirs. And now that that's no longer the situation, there could come a time when they'll need to be next to each other to do it against the other niggas, the police or whoever. And they Facts. know that they're gonna get, they're gonna be, they're gonna do their, their thing. That's one thing they could uh, vouch for. You know what I'm saying? So that you don't ever, you know, you gotta let some shit go sometimes. And bury the hatchet, I guess. I don't know. So I see it. You know, for 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 me, sometimes I'ma be real. Like I I I still try to deal with that, right? Because for the comment, the people that comment and that don't know, and even there's blood haters, crip haters, king haters, right? Even though we don't be on no gang shit right now, but I hate the fact that people act like as in the comments because kings don't make videos like that talking about nation affairs, all that, right? So the bloods are doing it like online, so hard body. Like it's like a lot of bloods that I know are mad about that. Like, yo, real bloods don't do that. But a lot of these dudes that are making videos, I know that they really blood because I don't be trying to show off or nothing or talk shit. I've spoken to some of them and been around a lot of them. So I know they still, they not even lying. They're like, I'm in the loop. They putting it all out there so I can say it. You saying it. But what I'm saying is kings are more discreet and more organized. Everybody knows. What I'm about, see everybody ten toes down But nine out of ten niggas have eight toes And I know, cause they froze when it went down Quiet nigga make no sound, he bust no moves a whole ghost town Then fuck a nigga for the fuck of it Then fuck with you after sucking it You a whole nigga, you bitch made You switched it up when the flow changed And you gave it up when them boys came How you gave it up when them boys came? Gotta search me, tell them do they job Nothing else, so I'ma make it hard I'm making it look easy though the shit is hard Ten toes down, nigga on guard Everybody ten toes down, ten toes down, till it goes down, till it goes down. Make it so loud, so loud, then it's no sound. It's quiet, quiet. Oh, we bros down, we bros down. 
We ain't froze down. We ain't froze down. No showdown. Oh, oh. you a hoe now? Hey, body tat toes down. Yeah, I know. Till it goes down. Til it goes down. Till 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 it goes down. For our peoples, and I feel it's, it's Latinos as a whole. It's not even kings, because the comments get me tight sometimes when somebody comments and be like, "Bro, there's not even like no kings. That's a, a thing of the past, bro. Like, let it go, my nigga. No, you wish we let it go. In my head, I'd be like, you must be black. <laughs> you feel me? Nah, but you know what? You know what? What let I let it go, I, bro. They, they, what, they don't not know. To let it go, but what I'm gonna tell you though, my opinion on that is that. They come from a time where, it, where the kings was where they're not at now. That, it, that, that if you compare then to now, it's almost like niggas is going extinct, nigga. You want to be the real ones? You got them niggas that's, you got some that's running around that you be like, that niggas don't respect them niggas, bro. Just keep it official. The niggas, these niggas that's like, when you in jail, they respect certain kings. They don't respect that whole table. They respect the niggas that carry themselves like kings. You heard? Yeah. Yeah, and you yeah. see the difference. You can see the difference in the way some some niggas is getting treated. You be like, like damn, you know what I'm saying? Like you you question your own peoples, but if you do that, you bashing your peoples. Yeah, you know I don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't want to do that. You don't want to do that, but but it's the fact that you at a table with a person that you're not a hundred percent sure he's gonna do. It's gonna move with you when, when it's time to move. But you yeah. look at him, cause you look at him, or you see how other people looking at him, you like, you see what they see sometimes too. But that's I why get, they don't respect everybody. They respect they respect individuals that move accordingly. I guess the whole thing gets me a little upset. I ain't even gonna lie. And you know, if anybody knows, you know, and the dudes that know me know, I mean, people could just look at my videos. I don't ride nobody. I don't care what nobody is, but I be around Bloods, Cribs, Pathy. I was like a lot of, cause real recognize real. But my thing is, I guess, cause I make content and I be watching and I'm like, bro, these people are not doing this. Like you serious, my dude? And then the dudes that do come online is like my dude. I don't be trying to diss like, you know, like I always say, bro, like, look, I'm not on here gang banging or in a gang because that's considered cyber banging. What a lot of people don't know is that that's actually a charge. They could give you an indictment for cyber banging, for using your social. Because like, you you're like an influencer into that, yes. that, into that type of shit. Yeah. You're using yeah. your so you're using your social I mean, media. Sense. You're using your social media influence to big up your gang and, and recruit and expand. And they'll give you that charge. I heard they was doing it to Casanova. So I always say this, bro, when I'm on YouTube, just because it's the rules and regulations, I'm not on here gang banging. We love all people, but I, I will be fake if I say, bro, all right. And somebody could say, oh, so you deny, people are denying it for the tube, bro. If you go to a bro's job, you can't go in there and knock and be like, I'm here looking for the Latin King do and he's working in office somewhere, bro. You're going to get him fired. So it was just no different. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Why would you tarnish something that could help the people? So I always say on YouTube, I'm just a regular man. But in real time, I do that. Like I see my peoples and all that. And it gets me mad because I guess like we would be considered what everybody else is calling, I guess, like first or generation like we was there my dude you feel me the wars everything like bro you're bugging so now we know what it is and what really happened obviously we was pounding people out in order for them to get that mad and get but we know the truth not every blood because i'm not here to talk bad about i don't talk bad about them like that unless when i get mad everybody knows i talk my shit when i see something that i deem fake but i'm not on here trying to say who's real and who's not that's not my place but it gets me mad because it's like, bro, you crazy. I was, I was, I was still in that my whole life. Like you're bugging out, and I know what it is, and I know right now that you crazy, my dude. You know how many uh, kings I know that is active and how big is expanded throughout the world right now. And I just say these people are so asleep that they just online 
And it's cool because right be behind your very eyes, the nation or kings is getting even bigger and bigger and bigger. So people think it's extinct. But in New York, because it was like, yo, no more rock and beats for a minute. You know, when that whole thing came out, whatever, however it went. Right. And but I go to certain places in the Bronx and everywhere. And niggas is rocking. Yeah, but that's a good thing, though. That's a good thing, though. It shouldn't even get you mad because that means it's a structure. And, and, and while other people's looking at it because they can't see it as they you're supposed to be like that's good instead of you getting upset that they sleeping on it you should be glad that they sleeping that means that we're doing it right as 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 you know what i'm saying we're supposed to be rocking them and when they and, and we wake their asses up when it's time so you mm. can't really you shouldn't care too much even though if that's what they think because when that time comes that's when they'll know you know what i'm saying so you can't, I don't think you should let that shit bother you too much. You know, you keep it up there, but it shouldn't be staying up there too long, bro, because that shit gonna make you upset or, 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 or you wanna snap. And you don't wanna do that neither. You just wanna, don't let that shit get to you. I think you should look at the positive. There's a reason why you said it, because things happen and they say, yo, stop rocking certain shit. There's a reason. So that means that niggas actually listened. That means the niggas know how to listen. Yeah, yeah, facts. So, so I, I, yeah, you right, you right, you definitely right. You right, you right. Now, who care what they think? That's the point. That's yeah, the point. I, That's why undercover, we probably doing more uh, as a, you know, I say we, but Spanish people or whatever that, whoever does it the way they're supposed to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's probably why they prosper even more too, because it be the ones that that go off, off the structure. They follow the structure that's built for them, and the, they're gonna make it. Because everything that you do, any organization, whether it be in the street organization or organization funding, it's all a structure, and you gotta follow it. And if you follow it, you get where you're supposed to go. So, you know what I'm saying? Facts. I guess, I guess, like I was, like I said, it doesn't get me mad. To, yeah, it does get me mad to the point where, at times, I'll be like, bro, I do get mad, like sometimes too overly, violently mad, and I need to catch <laughs> myself. But what I'm saying is this: that I guess it's because I make content and I'm watching it, and I see like certain gang members trying to get into the content world, and I'm just keeping it real, right? Because nobody really admits to these feelings. And my feeling and thought is like, bro, that's bad. You talking like that about us? I understand that we had a war, but I feel like I could put out a hundred stories about bloods, bro, that we washed up so hard, bro. Like, bro, like, wow, bro. Bro, they, but, I think everybody got stories for everybody. Right. I could talk about. I could talk about some homo shit that I seen them niggas doing. You know. Right. What I'm me too. I, but I know. But I know that they could say the same thing about. People that we know, saying you know everything done in the 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 dark comes to the light because Fact. there's niggas around us every day that we don't know something. Facts. And then something ends up coming up that we always be disappointed, like yo, this nigga that like we was talking about Fact. that earlier, and yeah. that happens, my nigga, oh, a lot boy. because it happened. I've seen it. I see. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So you know everything like that that that's in the past. Let them do what they do, but you ain't got to be the one that's gonna. Hey, right, and I find and somebody and will. And I find myself, and I find myself like, bro, you got to understand, like, yo, one time I'm, and, and I try to tell people at the same time, I'm, I'm not trying to diss the peoples, right? Because I was like, bro, at one point I was king, right? But dudes that know me from the street are like, son, you stood up and son is still that, you know, but bro, I'm on the, I'm online, I'm on the two, bro, you're bugging, right? So they don't understand that part because they don't do this, right? So my thing is this, right? I do get upset. I'm not going to lie because I feel like, bro, the way people are putting... The one thing I got to say, and this is no writing or no nothing. The dude, Tankhead, that just came out that I was telling you about when we were speaking privately, he told the story. That's why I know he's not a liar, bro. And I could tell a dude... A genuine dude when he's lying or when he's not, bro. I've been doing this through this camera thing for a minute. Nothing to show off or bro. I say he's not lying. And he mentioned Tarzan. If it's the same Tarzan that he cut or beat up Tarzan, whatever, right? Now, Tarzan is supposedly was getting busy in the adolescence with us. If it's the same Tarzan with the long hair, he was in Mar 10, like in 93, 
94, all them years he was there, right? When Ro was with me, Supra was coming through the buildings. Uh, uh, everybody was in the Apple. The, the adolescence was popping. We was in the adolescence. So C-74. So now when he mentioned Tarzan, I said he knows what he's talking about. But I don't know if that incident would happen. I'm pretty sure Duke is not making it up. You know, he probably caught Tarzan off the, you know, the element of surprise, a motherfucker, the shock factor. It happens. Cool. But I say all that to say that what I liked about him is that he'll tell a story and he told what he was saying. And I just keep it real. And, you know, what I hate is that another Spanish dude would be like, bro, you're riding them blood niggas. There's no riding. It's keeping it a hundred, my nigga. What I like about him was I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm a, I, 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 I like him. But I'm going to hit him up. Yo, what's up? But I don't like him that much. But what I'm saying is I respect the fact that. I heard him say a few times, bro, what are y'all talking about? It's like y'all stirring shit up. Like, I got mad Spanish friends. I got mad Puerto Rican friends. I'm from the Bronx, bro, blah, blah, whatever. You know, I got friends that are in every gang. I guess he's like me. I got, look, most of my videos are all blood stories, me with blood. Now, I got stories of kings, hard body. Of course, I was in that all my life. But I always put in my head that real kings don't tell king stories and king affairs, bro. So. I don't care how many years pass by. And a lot of people tell me, yo, you got to grow up out of that because times have changed. Tell your story, bro. I tell your story, but they don't understand. <laughs> Even though we get busy, I'll be, when I do go outside, when I do go around them, I'll be around real <laughs> twins <laughs> that'll body you, son. You understand what I'm saying? I, I like, I always tell people, I don't know about the type of, <laughs> the type of kings you've seen on your block. <laughs> Because there's pussies and everything with all respects to everybody. And I had to learn that as time went by that not everybody is made to be a gangster, right? And it took time for that because I, I used to see somebody become king and I'm like, son is buns. Like, how the fuck he get crowned, right? But then somebody opened my eyes and said, everybody is playing a position in a nation and an or organization Maybe he's not a gangster, but actually he's a real gangster, more gangster than all of us because he went to school. He knows computers. He could get the bros jobs. This dude is just a crash dummy, a pop-off artist that just brings heat. So when there's drama, we call him. So then I started to understand that as I got older, right? But I don't know, bro. It's just weird. The whole thing is weird because at the same token, I'm thinking all that shit, right? And I just thought about something in my head. As I'm online, I feel sometimes like, right? And it's cool. I don't care. I'm just talking because I got a set of lips at this point. But I say to myself, one time I had an older dude. He's like 70 something years old. A few of them hit me. And I guess they're like, I say 70 something. My bad, bro. He looks 70 something. A few of them hit me <laughs> up. <right? laughs> a few of them, a few of them hit me up and was like, bro, you need to speak up for the for the peoples and say the truth. That the bloods were trying to steal and abuse Latinos. And that's why we started fucking them up. You know what I'm saying? And not letting them live. Because that's what I saw in the early night. That's my truth. We wasn't letting them live. Because every time they came in the house, they would want to sneak thief. They would want to take people's sneakers. Take, am, am I bugging or I'm the only one that saw this, bro? But you, you, gotta, know, you gotta remember you when you talk to me about this. I didn't go. I didn't go up in them times. I, I, I know. I went I know. up north my first time in 2011. I know. I got but an what, 11 number. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I I was there too. I was there in the 2000s, and, and I was there 2017. It was nothing like when you talking about. I can't go back that far. You talking right. about the beginning? Right, right. So that's what that's what I remember. And don't get it wrong. Kings did it, too. But they were just doing it a little too much. I had to save some people and get their sneakers back. And dudes that was with me will tell you, like, bro, he's not lying. But it wasn't every blood. So I can't say that. It was just the majority. So when I say that, you got dudes that get mad and be like, bro, you're capping. Bro, ain't no capping. You didn't see that or you didn't do that. Or you was in the box because you was one of them dudes that was self-inflicting, wounding yourself because you didn't want to come to because <laughs> you you didn't you didn't want to come to population. And once I say it like that, bro, all hell dudes get mad in the comments, like, bro, why? When you tell a story, 
We don't do that to you. So do you feel me? Like, let's yeah. keep it. If we're going to tell stories, let's keep it story, bro. And let's keep it real. Because once you start lying and you start putting out one narrative, like y'all was the kings of the island, that's not the fact, bro. That's not the fact, bro. People today, bro, and I say this with all respects to every gang and nation or whatever. People today, Hispanics today, I don't care what you are. You're putting on that Spanish TV because of the flag that we planted years ago because the blacks were not letting you watch TV, bro. That's a fact, you know, and it's so sad that we have to take it back to racism, right? Because people be like, oh, that sounds racist, bro. I always say, and I don't like, it sounds cliche, but my nieces, my nephews are black. I got family that's black. Like, bro, Me too. I, I, I've been around more bloods than kings because dudes is always like, son is thorough. I fuck with son. Uh, yeah, of course, because you know, I'm not, I'm one of the ones that's not scared. You feel me? So that becomes like son is cool, you know, and I don't mean it with no disrespect, but off top, when somebody hears a story, they hear the little bit. And it's already like, bro, you're full of shit. Why? Because I'm not bigging up your gang that you're still in. You get what I'm saying? So you got to hear out the whole story and know that there's history. There's history and then there's my story and there's his story. And you got to decide which story you want to be real, right? And who you think is, is lying, bro. Like, it's not about who's lying and who's telling the truth, really, because everybody has their story. The same way I went to other houses and I met some good blood niggas that were doing it. Like, I I thought I was like, oh, shit, these niggas, is, they running like kings, like nietas, like official. But I'm going to keep it real, bro. In the 90s, it was rare, my dude. It was rare. If you went into a blood house, they were keeping all the frost and flakes, bro. If you didn't pop, this is a fact. They was keeping all the oranges. They'll chop you in your head for the jelly. But when I say that, people are like, oh, you sound racist and you sound like you bitter and hating. How? We all telling stories. You want me to tell you the truth? That's the truth, homie. Now I'm gonna tell you the other, I'm gonna tell you the other side as time went on. 